Hello, I'm Robin Mitchell and this is Maker.io. In today's episode, we're going to learn about how to use the photon or the particle photon with the Raspberry Pi. Now, interestingly, that's a bit of a misleading statement because you don't use the photon with any specific computer. It's a self-working system that you can program over the air. So if you want to program a photon with a Raspberry Pi, you just use the Chrome browser or the Chromium browser. I'm not quite sure what it's called, but it's basically the default browser that comes with the Raspberry Pi. You just log on to the Photon website, link here, sign up with an account, and then you can go ahead and program this over the internet. Now, setting up the Photon is a little tricky and you will need to read the article that goes with this video. Disclaimer, if you don't read the article, it's on you. So, read the article and it will tell you how you can connect your Photon to your local Wi-Fi network. And then from there, how to program the Photon over the internet. Now, the Particle Photon is a very hobby-friendly Wi-Fi IoT product. And I would highly recommend that you consider one of these when wanting to use internet stuff in a project that you want to build. Now, you could use the Arduino Uno with an Ethernet shield or an ESP8266 for Wi-Fi. But in all fairness, this basically puts everything into one tiny package that is breadboard friendly. But there is one slight disadvantage to the Photon, which shouldn't be a problem for most people, but may be a problem if you're a long-term thinker. Unfortunately, there is no offline version of the IDE to program the Photon, which means you're basically dependent on the company being around. Now, there's no sign of the company disappearing or the products just suddenly vanishing off, of, you know, vanishing out of nowhere and suddenly you can't program it. But in the far future, if the company does go under and they don't release a downloadable IDE that you can program these locally, you might be, might be in a bit of trouble because the only way you can program these is using their cloud-based IDE because that's where they compile the code for these things. Thank you for watching and see you next time.